It's morphin' time. My apologies. That was the incorrect version of Power Rangers. Here's the correct one. I'm living in that 21st century, doing something mean to it. Do it better than anybody you ever seen. Do it screams from the hate. So we've got a real trailer finally for the Power Rangers movie. And I know we had that original teaser, but really, they didn't show a whole lot. They just showed the teenagers, then at the very end, the suits appear. Not much to talk about there. But we've got a full-blown trailer now. So today in Midnight Movies, we're going to talk about it. To start off, let's talk about my own history with Power Rangers. Power Rangers was my jam. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with Power Rangers. I had all the Power Rangers video games, folders, lunchboxes, toys, you name it. I remember for my, I think it was my eighth birthday, I actually dressed up as the Green Ranger for some reason. I have no idea why. I had nothing to do with Halloween, but I wanted to be the Green Ranger, so I was him. And I actually had a couple VHS tapes. I specifically remember one I had called Food Fight, where it was this ugly ass pig monster that they were fighting. And I mean, now that I'm older looking back, this costume looked like absolute crap, but it's so nostalgic to me because it was one of the few Power Rangers VHS tapes that I owned. When the original Power Rangers movie came out in theaters, I flew to the theater with my little friends to go watch it. And it was a religious experience. It was awesome. I followed Power Rangers all the way through the original cast with, you know, Jason and Trini and all them. After that is kind of when I, I lost interest because I didn't really care for all the new stuff. I think the furthest I got was Power Rangers Turbo. And then I just, I stopped caring after that because all the other stuff after that, in my opinion, was garbage. So let's go ahead and start talking about this new movie. I'm actually really excited about it. After the original teaser trailer, I, I wasn't sure what to think because... We really hadn't seen a whole lot other than maybe some pictures of the costumes and some of the pictures of the toys, which movie toys always look like shit no matter what movie it's for. So they showed us a lot, so much that I, I kind of, I don't want to see them put anything more into another trailer because I don't want them to spoil anything. Not that I, I'm not even sure if there's really anything worth spoiling in this movie. It seems like a pretty straightforward kids get superpowers, kids beat bad guys story. Which is fine. That's all Power Rangers needs to be. I know a lot of people have very low expectations for this movie because the common argument is, I mean, it's Power Rangers. It was already cheesy. Who cares? But I, I kind of don't agree with that logic because you could say the same thing about things like, this might not be the best comparison, but the first thing that comes to mind is Batman. Go back in time to before the Batman Begins movie was made. At the time, you could have said the same thing about Batman. What did we have at that time? Batman had all his cheesy comic books in the 60s. And then at the time, the most recent movies were Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, which were just some cheesy two-hour toy commercials. So you could have said the same thing when Batman Begins was coming out. You could have said, well, I mean, have you seen what they've done with Batman? Who cares? But they made a serious attempt at making a real blockbuster movie. And I feel like that's what they're trying to do with this Power Rangers movie. They're trying to take that extremely cheesy concept and the way it's been presented to us before and making it for us 90s kids that are all grown up now. I feel like the movie's telling my generation, this is your Power Rangers with a huge budget. I think the problem with Power Rangers is there's a lot of nostalgia for it. For any 90s kids, there's a special place in our hearts for that original show. But I feel people are forgetting how shitty it was. I mean, if you go back, even look at their costumes. It's just like some cheap fabric with some plastic helmets. When they were fighting, they weren't even doing like real martial arts. It was just punch, kick, oh, fall over. It was awesome as kids, but it, it it was pretty bad. Now that they're making a full-blown Hollywood movie and they're making some changes and making things look more up-to-date, that I'm okay with. I don't have a problem with it. I'm actually looking forward to see what they do. So we've got all the original Rangers, all looking completely different, of course. They're all younger, newer actors. The trailer makes it seem like all these kids, they're kind of outcasts. They don't know each other really well. And they all get to know each other throughout this movie because they all come together by coincidence or fate, however you want to look at it, to become the Power Rangers. And I'm pretty sure that's as deep as the story is going to go. They show them fall in this pit, which I'm assuming is going to be the cave that leads to... I don't remember what their base was called in the show or if it even had a name. Let's just call it Power Ranger Base, where they meet Zordon. Which, by the way, Zordon looks awesome. I know there's been some people complaining about the use of CG, but if, if you've been following this channel, you know I'm not a big fan of CG. But that's CG when it's not needed. Something like this in Power Rangers... I think it's perfectly acceptable. In the original, it was a giant head in a tube. Now they're trying to make it more like a hologram looking thing. And he looks like, I don't know what it's called, 
but those toys where you used to have to put your hand in and then the hand appears through all the little needles and it's Brian Cranston. Fun fact here, he did appear in a Power Rangers episode as one of the monsters in costume. Wondering if that had anything to do with him being in this movie. From what I've seen, I'm a big fan of him as Zordon. He's got the voice. I mean, that Brian Cranston voice is magical. I, I'm just hoping that in one part of the movie, the Rangers go, it's morphin' time, and then Zordon says, you're goddamn right. Make it happen, please. Speaking of which, they can, because I think the movie is going to be a little more grown up based on some of the jokes they made in the trailer. You must become those warriors. It's the hologram, like a video game. <laughs> That's a strong-ass oh. hologram. Not a video game. <laughs> Me and four kids found a spaceship buried underground. I'm pretty sure I'm a superhero. Cool. Pee in that cup. I'm blue. <laughs> oh, I'm black. What? I am. No, you're not. <laughs> that last one I actually think is pretty funny. I, I don't know why. That did make me laugh, though. But even based on those jokes, it's not like they were cursing or it wasn't anything too raunchy, but you would have never had these kind of jokes in the original show because it was definitely geared towards little kids like us at the time. The suits look really cool, too, because they look updated, but you can still tell they're Power Ranger suits. So I'm okay with the suits. One thing I really like about them is how they put them on. In the original show, they just kind of go, it's morphin' time, boom, the suits are there. In this, it's almost like the, like the Venom symbiote from Spider-Man. It just kind of slowly takes over their body, and I think visually that looks really awesome. Another interesting change that I do like is that they all get superpowers. In the original show, that wasn't a thing. I mean, they all knew martial arts, but they didn't have super strength. They couldn't jump far unless they were wearing the Power Ranger suits. Then they could do all these crazy things. So the fact that they're also getting these abilities, I, I feel it really cements them as superheroes where no one else can just throw on those costumes. It's their powers and they have to wear the suits. And speaking of being superheroes, one of my favorite things that I saw in the trailer, and it was such a quick scene that you would have missed it if you blinked. You see one part where the Red Ranger, it looks like he's pulling someone from a car that's overturned. I love that scene because they're saving people. I don't feel they ever really did that in the original show. I mean, of course they saved the Earth countless times, but think about it. When they were fighting in the city on the Megazord, half the time they were throwing monsters against buildings. They were falling on buildings. I feel like they were causing more destruction than the monster was sometimes. What I have very mixed feelings on is Alpha 5. Don't get me wrong, the original one looked like crap. I think everyone can agree that he just looks like a plastic 1950s sci-fi movie robot. But the new one in the movie, he just, something's off about him. I was kind of expecting a little more. I know they were going with the whole more alien-like aspect, but at the same time, I feel like it's a little too different. I feel like they could have gone with something a little more robotic, paying more homage to the original look without it looking shitty. Maybe I'll be wrong, maybe he'll be super cool in the movie, but just going from this trailer, Alpha 5, uh, we also got more glimpses of all the Megazords, and they don't look awful. I question why some of them have more legs than actual dinosaurs did, because they were all based off of dinosaurs, I mean, except the Mastodon, that's clearly not a dinosaur. Actually, neither is the Sabertooth Tiger. So why some of them have six legs, I, I don't really know. I guess they're trying to make them more alien-like also. But we do get a glimpse of the, what I assume is the Megazord at the end of the trailer. I, I just, I really don't like what this one looks like. The Megazord doesn't resemble the original one in any way, shape, or form. It just, if you look at it, it just looks kind of like a discombobulated mess so i'm not a big fan of that with all the things that look really cool like the power ranger suits and zordon there's just as much stuff that doesn't look that great one of the biggest ones is goldar which i'm assuming he's the final boss of the movie if you remember goldar he's that big gold armored guy with the blue monkey face and the wings he looked really cool back in the day I think they just completely ruined the character. No, I don't want him to look exactly like this because it might come off as cheesy now. He just looks like this melting glob of just gold. They even make a joke about it in the trailer. That's a lot of gold. He looks like an Oscar award that's melting and someone glued wings on it. The character design on him is beyond horrible. I, I, don't, I don't know what the executives up in Lionsgate were thinking when they said, you know what, let's take this character and make him look like this. Yeah, people think that's awesome. The other bad guy in the movie, Rita Repulsa, who we all know she's the witch that creates all these monsters. She looks completely different than the show. But I think they made her appropriately creepy and, and almost like a real threat. I never felt that the original version was a threat at all. They also showed what I assume is the Putty Patrol. 
I guess they're all going to be CG rock monsters now. It's a huge improvement over the original. In the original, it was just some guys in spandex and these rubber gloves and a rubber face. It looked really stupid. So overall, I think the trailer did a really good job of setting expectations for what this movie's going to be like. The worst thing about this trailer, though, by far, is the music. What the fuck? Nobody wants to watch a Power Rangers trailer and have Kanye West music playing during it. It was extremely lame. Now, I don't feel that anybody should judge the movie based on that, because clearly that's ridiculous. It's trailer music. It's not going to be in the actual movie. But picking a song just because it has the word power in it, how clever of you. You know what? I I'm going to fix this right now. I guess that's the rule. Any song that has power in it, right? Morphin' Time. <laughs> You're welcome. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little review, this little breakdown of the Power Rangers movie trailer. So yeah, if you enjoyed the review, leave me a like down below. And I do want to hear what you guys think about the trailer. Are you guys excited for the movie? Do you think it looks like ass? Leave me a comment below. Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. This is Fabian. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.